Hello and welcome to Friday's PE Crime Blotter. Uh, I'm John Asbury. I'm joined with Rich Diatley, and we both came back from the verdict for Ricky Lee Fowler, where a jury f recommended that he face the death penalty for starting the 2003 old fire and the murder of five people who died of heart attacks after the fire. Now, Rich, uh, the last three weeks, and, and let alone the last three months, is, it's we've been waiting for this to happen. Um, a lot of us thought that the jury might end in a deadlock and and now the jury finally came back with a verdict. Um, tell us about what happened today. Well, today uh, was, uh, and this is after a three, 11 jury days of meetings after over a three week period, they started in the afternoon of September 6th, uh, didn't go in on a Thursday, came in Friday and very quickly announced that they had a verdict. Uh, jurors elected not to speak to reporters afterwards, so we don't know exactly what uh, they were doing during that time but the attorneys on both sides, defense and prosecution, said they were deliberating things very carefully and going over all of the evidence and all of the considerations. So they announced they had a verdict that was read at 11.30 this morning and uh, Judge Michael Smith's court in San Bernardino, their verdict was uh, death and uh, sentencing will be November 16th. There is a standard practice of uh, filing for a new trial at that time and that will be heard before uh, uh, any other consideration is given on the same day. Now, Rich, one thing we heard interjected today by uh, both attorneys and even the judge is the November 6th uh, ballot measure, Prop 34, which would repeal the death penalty in California. Um, now, how is this affecting this trial and and how did this make its way into a, as a political issue in today's criminal proceedings? Well, it came up first when the judge, Michael A. Smith, uh, again said, uh, that he wanted to set the sentencing date after the November 6th election because, of course, it would affect whether or not the death sentence could be imposed on Ricky Lee Fowler. Uh, District Attorney, uh, San Bernardino County District Attorney Mike Ramos uh, used the occasion afterwards at a news conference to uh, criticize Prop 34, say this is exactly uh, the Fowler conviction and death sentence recommendation was exactly uh, why the death penalty exists in California and that uh, called uh, on voters, I would presume, to consider this as one reason to reject it. Um, the, uh, 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 using that as a, uh, as a formula, he, he, he did use it. He said that he had restrained himself, had kept quiet about his stance on Prop 34, specifically while the Fowler trial was going on. But I think the, uh, the confluence of both uh, the judge practically uh, practically bringing up the sentencing date of setting it November 16th, uh, you know, and saying that Prop 34 was going to have an effect on uh, the, uh, the ultimate sentence Fowler could get, that brought uh, Ramos out on the attack. Well, uh, it certainly draws close a very, um, a very sensitive case for San Bernardino County and the inland region. I know since 2003, um, it, this fire burned over 90,000 acres, uh, destroyed literally hundreds of homes right. and um, you know, mm -hmm. finally comes to an end after at one point the community didn't even know who, who started this fire. All we had was a sketch. Right. It started as a sketch and uh, more information. It was developed over years actually. Uh, Fowler became a suspect the, in 2004 uh, early on. He was interviewed by different investigators over several years. The indictment on this actually came down in October of 2009. Uh, Ramos today said it was one of a, a long investigation, very arduous, and a lot of hard work went into it. Absolutely, and it's a long investigation that's now come to a close. Uh, one more date on this case right now. Uh, sentencing is due November 16th, where, a where the judge will consider the jury's recommendation for death. Of course, that could change with the November ballot measure. That's the PE Crime Blotter for today, Friday, September 28th. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll see you on Monday.